So what's going on guys, it is Jamie, it's Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Joseph Parker retains his WBO heavyweight title and defeats Huey Fiore in Huey Fiore's backyard of Manchester via majority decision, 12 round majority decision. The judges scored it 114, 114. And the two other judges scored it, um, 118-110. I had the fight um, to Huey Fury by a round or two. But if Joseph Parker would have won it by a round or two, then I couldn't have complained because it was a close fight. And it was a round or two swing either way, in my opinion. But 118-110, like, them judges were really scoring for the aggression of Joseph Parker. They must have been because I didn't see it 118-110, not at all. And not a lot of people are happy by that. But... It's what you like really with this fight. It was a what you like kind of fight because Joseph Parker was the aggressor. He was the one trying to initiate the fight, trying to make the fight catch fire. Whereas Huey Fury was on the back foot using a very good fast jab and using lateral movement to frustrate um, Joseph Parker, tying him up when he tried to come on the inside. But I, I felt that Joseph Parker was landing the heavier, more eye-catching shots in there. Huey Fury landed a couple, but I felt that Joseph Parker landed the more eye-catching heavier shots and he was the aggressor he was the one on the front foot so if it would have been scored to joseph parker by a couple of rounds you couldn't have really complained but the fact that it was a wide score to joseph parker that's a little bit controversial but it was a very very close fight it was a fight that didn't really catch fire and it's interesting because last week during the canelo ggg fight the judges were um, scoring it based on canelo's counter punching like the 118 110 scorecard Adelaide Bird must have been scoring it down to fucking Canelo's um, counter punching and I've seen a few people score it to Canelo because of that quite wide and this week the fucking judges were scoring it based on Joseph Parker's aggression so judges are very subjective they score what they like at the end of the day but again a controversial scorecard in many people's eyes it's funny because Terry O'Connor was meant to be the referee in the fight but Joseph Parker's team kicked off saying oh he'll be biased towards you if you're a but it became one of the judges instead of the referee. And he scored it 118-110 to fucking Fiore. Not Fiore, to fucking Parker. <laughs> I just find it hilarious. I just really do. Like, at the end of the fight, fucking... When they said 118-110, like, you could see Huey Fury and his team light up. Like, as to say, oh, we've won it wide here in our own backyard. And then fucking when they said, and still are the faces. They just totally drop. Like, I feel bad for Huey Fury because I felt that... He tried to give it his all in this fight and it was a very close fight in which he could have won. Like it was a very close fight, it could have gone either way. But on the scorecards, it didn't seem that, like that at all. Like 118, 110, that means they scored the fight 10 rounds to 2 in favour of Joseph Parker. But yeah, it was a fight that didn't really catch fire and Joseph Parker still the champion. What does he do next? Does he wait for Wilder and Ortiz to fight the winner of that fight? Or does he go after Anthony Joshua? Here's what it is. Comment below in the comment section.